You've received that dreaded call. Data has been accidentally deleted from our key database. Can we get it back? Absolutely. I'm going to show you how we can do a point in time restore to a managed instance on today's Tales from the Field. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. For all those new subscribers, you're like those found vacations at the end of the year. Welcome. For all those loyal subscribers, the best holiday gift you can give us this year is to spread the word, share our content, and as always, provide those comments in the video links. Speaking of content, we have content that drops on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have our roundtable where we share links, blogs, and posts by you, the folks of the MVP community, for the MVP community. On Mondays and Tuesdays, we have this thing we like to call MS Tech Bitch. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. We've all been here. We've received the call. We've done it ourselves that we've deleted too much data from our table or we've actually dropped the table from our database. The developers have identified that it happened around 9.59 a.m. on the 24th. So how do we do that? We're going to restore our database here in Azure SQL Managed Instance to a previous point in time. In overview here, we're going to restore from an existing database, and we're going to use the scenario restore an existing database to the same managed instance. I recommend you review all the overview cases and the different scenarios and the permissions that are required to be able to do this restore. As we scroll down here through the documentation, which will be included in the description of the video, as we scroll down, we can see here, we're gonna restore an existing database. I have the Azure CLL highlighted. We're gonna do that as well as restore from the portal. Let's first restore from the portal. Okay, over here in Data Primary MI, I can create a new database here, or I can go into the blade on the left-hand side here and select databases. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up top when the screen refreshes and we are going to select new database. When we select new database, it's gonna take us to our Create Azure SQL Managed Database screen. We're gonna fill in our subscription. We're gonna fill in our resource group, and we're gonna give it a database name of Stack Overflow LRS underscore restore underscore portal, because that's what we're doing here. We're restoring for the portal. All right, we're gonna select point in time restore, and then we're gonna fill in our subscription name, our resource group, our managed instance that we're restoring from, and down below, the managed instance database that exists. In this case, we deleted from the Stack Overflow LRS Continuous. For our restore point, we're going to go 11-24-2023, and we're going to go 9-58 a.m., because that's about the time the developers said that we accidentally dropped the table and deleted that data from our database. We're gonna go next to security. We're not gonna make any changes here. We're gonna go additional settings, no changes here today. For tags, I'm gonna put some meaningful tags that represent my environment. I'm gonna go to review and create, and then I am going to review the screen and hit create. Once I hit create, it's gonna to go to the deployment process, which is restoring our database. You can see here that our deployment process is ongoing. We can also check the status by querying DM exec request, and you can see on the screen that I'm about 36% complete. Well, that's happening. Let's go over and open up Cloud Shell. We're gonna start a restore using CLI. With our Cloud Shell open, the first command we're gonna run is AZ SQL MIDB show. We're gonna put in our managed instance name, the name of our database, our resource group, and I have a query there going to output table, and it shows us here the name of our database, the creation time of our database, and the earliest point in time that we can restore to. The next CLI command we wanna run is the one that's gonna restore our database. So we're gonna run AZ SQL MIDB restore. We're gonna put in our managed instance name, the source database there, LRS continuous, our destination name, the name of the database that we're restoring to, and most importantly, we wanna fill in our recovery point time of 2023, 11, 24, 
9.58 a.m. That's the time that the developers identified where the data went missing. One thing I forgot to mention is you want to fill in the resource group there as well. Once we hit enter, it's going to go into a running phase that's going to start the restore of our database. While I was typing in those Azure CLI commands, I got a notification that my Azure portal recovery is complete. So we can go over to Azure Data Studio, go into our existing continuous database. We can run a select from badges. You can see there that the teacher data is missing. But let's switch over to our restored database from the portal. Look at that. Our teacher data is back. So we could start the recovery process into our existing continuous database, or we could use our recovery database, whichever methodology you're most comfortable with to get your data back to a reliable state. We can run DM exec requests one more time. We can see that our Azure CLI database restores about 37 complete. Once that's done, you're gonna receive a screen similar to the following showing us that our database has been restored. And look at that. We have successfully recovered our Stack Overflow LRS continuous database that our data was accidentally deleted and dropped from. All right, there we have it. Get back to work. Database restore is complete. No, seriously though, it's really important to know some of these nuances. For example, that we can only create a copy of our database when we're restoring the managed instance, but also knowing the different ways that we can restore managed instance because it's a little bit different than our on-premises or Azure SQL VM. We did an example of restoring through CLI. We also did it through the portal. So having those in your little checklist and being able to do this is really important. It's gonna make some people really happy as well. And it's gonna provide stability to your environment. Today, we saw that some developers deleted the data that they didn't expect to delete, or maybe we even did it, but we showed that we could restore to a point in time, getting that data back making folks happy once again. All right, you know where we like to keep this going, down in the comments below. And as always, be good to each other. This every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.